hi guys i know this is not my usual settings but i wanted to take a break from the unboxings because frankly my room's tiny I, or anytime i get my paycheck because i gotta save money and um yeah i'm satisfied with what i have so far so i want to take a break with the unboxings i think i have enough for now <laughs> and i wanted to do this um anonymously q a and i see my friends always posting this ngl which is not gonna lie link where people can type in questions or say something anonymous anonymously anonymous <laughs> so i'm gonna be doing that i'm gonna be answering the questions as i quickly get ready for work so hopefully you guys like this type of video i wrote them down because obviously i need my phone to like record and also um i decided to do this because a lot of people have more bolas they have more balls and they feel more comfortable asking me things or telling me things if i don't know it's them um sometimes it's been the other way around unfortunately <laughs> but yeah let's do this okay so the first question i got in the not gonna lie link thing is billy loomis or Stu matcher okay so if you know in the first screen movie if you guys are too in, in about details you can tell which ones who's billy in some scenes and who's um Stu. Stu to me is always a clumsier one. Oh my gosh i can't do the cough brows at work i mean i can but i don't want older people to question me and give me a hard time like i'm not in the mood it's too fucking hot no thank you i'm wearing pants um okay i'd have to say my favorite from from both characters has to be Stu, and that's just not being me being biased because i'm into like the funnier characters i mean that's a little bit about it but um yeah i just like how i related to him because if i were to be ghostface in one of these movies i definitely would be clumsier and i feel like that's that's like honesty like what teen isn't clumsy if they're trying to do that and i did like billy's um killings he was more gr gruesome about it he had more passion about it but to me if you really like that stuff you're a red flag um but um yeah stew 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 matcher did i pronounce it right I feel bad because I'm a ramble because that's just me. I just ramble a lot about anything that I get asked. What's my favorite liquid lipstick? I really enjoy the Maybelline Stay Matte liquid lipsticks. I don't have one on me right now, but like those are super affordable and they dry. They don't come off. Like if you have a big septum jewelry, obviously they're going to smudge because we do this a lot. People with septum piercings know but um yeah and it has to be like a i don't like dark colors on me now that i'm older i think it looks dumb on me it looks pretty on other people but i like like that burgundy brown i mean i don't rarely wear lipsticks because i wear a mask don't give me shit i don't give you shit for wearing one so don't give me shit okay i respect you you respect me okay before i gotta say that i wear a mask my personal belief um there's no point in wearing lipstick much less contour i only really wear lipstick whenever i'm inside my house sad things okay i gotta conceal my fucking eyebrows or not i'm gonna look crazy i'm not gonna do like a over the top look i'm just gonna do one where i look decent enough to be looked at okay top the next question is top three horror movies okay what? so i'm gonna refilm this part this answer because obviously I wasn't right in the head when I was answering this because I, I I was I was looking back I was editing right and I was like Buchikaka that ain't it that's not my top three favorite movies my first one my first one Scream Two fuck you guys I, it was good it, it was like my first Scream movie I ever watched um I was a swimming sperm when the second no. I wasn't even in the ball sack when the first one came out. I was a toddler when I saw the second one. It was so good. 
<laughs> Bitch, okay, so Scream, the first Scream came out in 1996. The second Scream came out in 1997. Bitch, I wasn't even in ball sack with those two. I meant to say. <laughs> I meant to fucking say I was a toddler when the third one came out. But, um, <laughs> imagine. Bitch, when you bitches came out, I wasn't even in my ball sack. Okay. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't know how I graduated college, <laughs> but that was my favorite. Eat my ass if you do disapprove. That intro is everything. Um, if you're here, the TV, fuck off. <laughs> the second movie, horror movie that I really like is... What's my second favorite movie? Oh, my second favorite movie. Okay, so it's a bunch of movies, but I'm going to put it in number two. The entire Conjuring movies, like The Conjuring 1, The Conjuring 2, The Conjuring 3, The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. I fucking love them. I just love them. The spinoffs, like Animal, fuck off. I don't like Animal. Animal is so annoying. I wish they could have kept the Raggedy Ann aesthetic, because imagine that shit moving around. That shit's creepy, but an ugly ass doll that looks like it has butthole for eyes. Like, no. My third favorite movie has to be. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it has to be a tie between The Lost Boys. I don't give a fuck if it's not scary. It's a, it's a vampire movie. I like the shit. Um, it's between that the stuff and the fun house all 80s horror movies and i fucking love 80s horror movies and that's gonna be my third option because i just love anything 80s especially horror films it's amazing and i love it and um if i could have been the fastest swimmer back then in the 80s i would not hate life as much <laughs> Bye. fourth one fourth question is do you deal with any hair breakage from the bleach or do you have like a certain products that help with your hair um shampoo and water <laughs> um i'm a licensed cosmetologist believe it or not i know i damage the fuck out of my hair it looks like it um but i know what my hair can tolerate i push her to the fucking limit but she's still a strong bitch i still have hair on my he head i have gone into the point where my hair has gotten to the gummy texture but it's really the the smaller ends and that's why i get a haircut but um, i don't have any products that help my advice on that is that if you want to color your hair all the time my best advice is that um you let it fade and i use color theory a lot with my next hair colors i know how to go from blue to red because I know what cancels out the blue tones and I know what cancels out red tones. It all depends like that and that's how I have I've avoided from going bald is really like the color theory. Um, but other than that, I would suggest fading your hair out, just doing your roots and looking into color theories. What cancels out what so you can get the next hair color that you want and also... Or I just dyed my hair black. <laughs> oh, I realized I didn't put any product while doing that. See, I can never do what Bailey Sarian does. She's so good at multitasking. I can't. Okay, next one is. Why do I complain so much? Um. Oh wait, I forgot moisturizer. See, I'm already complaining. Um. Why do I complain so much? My question to you is, why don't you complain enough? To me, I be it's I don't believe. I fucking know. Everybody in this fucking earth, even toddlers, complain about everything. So, in my opinion, we all complain equally. I just happen to complain more than you, and people love that shit, because that's why I'm here. <laughs> people just like to see me complain i'm full transparent about what i complain about and i don't have ass what i complain about i just vocalize it because it's healthier to vocalize it than bottling it up so that question is fucking stupid because i think 
people that say oh i don't complain you're a fucking liar you probably complain about the weather smells like swamp ass and it fucking smells like papas but that's still complaining <laughs> the next one is somebody just put ain't no way uh, um ain't no way i don't know ain't no way what do you mean ain't no way Let me just cut these bitches. Okay. The seventh question is introvert or extrovert? All the fucking way introvert. I mean, if you see me being sociable as fuck at work, um, I get paid for it. <laughs> um, I'm such an introvert. I don't like going out. It got worse after COVID. I mean, it's still fucking COVID. I don't know why people say those terms. Like, it's still fucking COVID, babes. But, um, I'm such an extra, I'm such a, not me lying to myself. I'm such an introvert, but, um, I'm only an extrovert with the very pinch amount of people that I like to genuinely hang out with. Like, I'll make sure you know I don't like you. And I don't want to be here. <laughs> I'm just that type of person. I'd rather hang out with that one person, that one friend, or just put myself in my house. To me, every time I go out, I just like, ugh, I want to go back home. That's just me. Um, I was 21 before I actually turned 21, and I was like, that's not for me. I'm not into it. If you are good for you, must be nice. But, um... I don't care like i i tried it i don't like it i just want to be home <laughs> the eighth wasn't really the eighth uh entry wasn't really a question but it goes back to number five somebody actually defended me because i posted it on instagram i didn't post any of these on instagram except for two but somebody put you don't even complain so much you complain that much like i don't know what that person's talking about once again, there's people that think like they don't complain, but they do. <clears throat> They're not that woke. I don't know what I'm going to do with my face. <gasps> I'm going to fucking blend this shit out. Um, the ninth question. Do people say numbers with the question? The next question is, do you prefer making TikToks or YouTube videos or vice versa? Um... I like making doing both. It distracts my mind. My mind's dumb sometimes and it leads me to not be super optimistic and negative, but um creating content is very fun and it gets my mind going and I don't feel like um I feel productive even though I'm just like here talking. Does that make sense? I ain't even gonna do the bottom of my face. I'm just gonna do this. The next question is, what's my dream house? So see, I never thought, I never think till this day I'll get there. But my dream house is one that fucking functions. Um, my dream house is to have a toilet, a fridge with food. <laughs> um, what else? What else am I missing? Um, like, does that make sense? I'm the type of girl that uses The Sims to create a character, not so much for the builds. My dream house is one that functions and probably has some Halloween decorations, of course, and that's it. Okay, the next question. I don't know if it was asked by someone, same person, but I can't see. So the following question says, dream job, question mark. Um, well, my dream job since I was 12, a lot of girlies get have a dream job since they're like four. I didn't get one until I was 12. And I'm still kind of working on it. It almost became a thing before COVID, but I've always wanted to be a tattoo artist. Um, people that follow me on Instagram know that they see my art. I like to do portraits. And to me, putting that on skin would be amazing, but it takes a lot of practice and a lot of skills and years of practice and work to be able to accomplish that. 
you just don't automatically translate that but i used to watch like the tattoo shows that would be on tlc like new york inc la inc and sadly my first role model was kat von d i say sadly for obvious reasons but um then it became megan Ma massacre and from there on it became ryan on ink master and um now recently months ago i got myself to actually built a tattoo machine and a starter kit and I practice on fake skin. I practice on myself once, but I need to get back to it and hopefully I get a, an apprenticeship. I fucking doubt it, but with peace and love, I seen people that can't draw get apprenticeships quicker than me. I'm gonna be shady. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be petty about it because what the fuck, you know? And I almost got an apprenticeship before COVID, but then lockdown happened and lockdown fucking COVID pinche fucking COVID took my dreams away. So now I'm super optimistic about that. <laughs> but I'm hoping the shit dies down and I can just do my thing down here. Somebody asked me, would you say yes if I asked you out? Um, I'm taken. I've been taken for almost four years. I um, no. I hate rejecting, but it's gonna be a no for me, dog. Right, how does Randy say it from American Idol? But yeah, I put taken on my bios all the time. And there was a period of time where um, I just, I'm one of those girls that can't, that oh, love to talk about people I love, okay, and I get annoying about it. And people just, it flies over their fucking head. The next question is, the following question is, see, I can be fancy as fuck, man. Who do you miss the most? I miss my parents and my brothers the most. They're the only, they're like one of the group of people that I feel myself with. I can tell them exactly how I feel or my opinions on things without hesitation. I tend to filter myself depending on who I'm with and I feel feel like like my absolute self around them. They've always been like my safe spot or my safe place. And I know I'm not gonna get judged or whatever. Probably a little bit by my dad, <laughs> but I roast him back. Um, I'm trying to find my highlighter. But yeah, those are, those are the people that I miss the most, always. They're not even people, they're my family. Familia. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. One of the last two questions is... Um, what's my favorite art supplies? What do I prefer? The mediums, oil paints, acrylics, um, graphite, which is just pencil for sketches, what, et cetera. Um, I loved, I played with oil paints, but it, all the chemical shit is not for me. Um, I don't have a, an acknowledgement, nor have I seen Breaking Bad. So if I could accidentally explode my garage with all the chemicals that involves oil paintings, um, no thank you. But um, I like Prismacolors. Um, Graphite sometimes, but I'm left-handed, so that shit smudges. I used to love just doing pen work, and um, I love to do paintings. Paintings, I feel like everything just blends together. And yep, um, I'm just gonna do my brows and mascara and call it a day. But I have one more thing. This one's not. Uh, a question but I was told that I'm beautiful and that my style is amazing first of all thank you um thank you for lying <laughs> um but yeah I don't have a style I just look like Adam Sandler I just dress like him but in a less jackass way and I just do my makeup and I don't even do my hair But yeah, thank you so much. Anyways, that was today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, subscribe if you enjoy this. <laughs>
a lot of people aren't gonna unsubscribe like it if you like getting to know me more and comment down below other videos i should do <laughs> okay i fix it i think i look better but yeah if you enjoyed getting to know me more and you haven't subscribed subscribe to the channel um like this video if you like this video and stay tuned for more comment down below on videos you like to see and i'll be here Ew, this sounds so gross bye